Hey friends, I'm gonna need you to strap in because we have a lot to cover. <laughs> I asked you guys on my Instagram story yesterday to send me a bunch of questions, anything you're curious about. And girl, what better way to do a Q&A than to do it while doing my makeup? And we're doing our makeup together. So uh, if you have makeup on already, I need you to take it off. Whatever DPR Live said, I need you to take your makeup off. Thank you to everyone who sent me questions. I wish I could get to all of them. There were a lot of relatively similar questions, so I just picked one of those to represent everyone else who asked that question. And then I just categorized them into little sections that I'll have here. First of all, let me put my hair out of the way. I used to have these little My Melody clips, but I lost them. So I have these chunky hair clips, but whatever works to get my hair out of the way. And if you see me look to the side, it's because I have this big mirror <laughs> because I'm just a makeup on the floor type of girl. So with that being said, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty of Joseon. Joseon, sorry if I butchered that, sunscreen. As you can tell, I love her. Also, if you see me looking at my phone, I'm just reading the questions. I also have a mirror. So if you see Min Jae, I'm just looking at myself, okay? Let's start with personal questions. We'll go with some light, with some light snacks. What is your MBTI? I am an ENFP. I have taken the quiz like three times and I've gotten ENFP like two out of the three. My height. I am 5'4", and I stopped growing dude like sophomore year of high school. Do you have Latin heritage? If so, what nationality are you? Well, nationality, I'm American. <laughs> I'm American. But ethnically, I am full Mexican. Not me realizing I'm not blending this sunscreen in. What part of Mexico are your parents from? Well, my mom was born here. My dad was born in Tijuana, but my dad's parents are from Durango and Leon. Guanajuato. And I believe my mom's family is from Mazatlan. Are you still in school? And if you are, how do you balance school, work, and social media? First of all, after my sunscreen, I'm gonna go in with my Power Grip Primer with the 4% Niacinamide. Did I get this just because it's pink? Maybe. I am in school. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. Uh, I was a part-time student for the longest, I mean, the longest girl, like, two years <laughs> because, okay, so I graduated high school 2021. I was a pandemic grad. I was taking it slow and really getting to know myself because, hey, I guess I didn't know myself. I also started social media as a little hobby the last year of high school, my senior year, and meeting so many people around the world, around the country. I just knew I was gonna have, like, I need to meet these people. I need to go. If I had classes online that I can just you know, complete remotely, that would be easier for me. So that's what I've been doing. And how I balance everything, I mean, it's pretty much because I do a lot of online classes. So this has been my life for the past like two years. I'll be like in a different state and I'll have a concert like night of, but I'm like doing a test in the hotel room. So that's <laughs> social media, to be honest, I just have not been as consistent as I wish I had been, but it's only been my first two years. I have lots of time to redeem myself. I wouldn't say I mastered, you know, managing and juggling everything all at once. The online school definitely helps a lot. What do you want to do out after you finish college? By the way, I love you so much. Love you, bae. After college, okay, I want to be in public relations and fashion. I want to work, girl, oh my God. See, if you were to ask me out of high school what you wanted to do, what I wanted to do, it would not have been that. I think I wanted to do like criminology. I'm always changing my mind. So it was very scary to like try and pick something solely from what I felt in that moment, but I definitely want to do public relations and fashion. I could talk about that forever. My holy grail concealer, the hourglass concealer. I use it in shade cotton. Do you still work at the boba place? <laughs> No, I do not. Oh, and then also, what's your current job? You would fit working at some cute cafe. Dude, I'm saying! I wanted to work at a cafe so bad, but like, when I was like, who wants me? Y'all, who wants me? Silence. Nobody wanted me. I applied to so many cafes because I wanted my cafe moment. Happy Lemon does not count the boba job, which no, I'm not there anymore. I was there for like a good year. I haven't been there for a year now. My current job is, is not a cafe, but it does fit my vibe. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's still like customer service. So I would say that and now YouTube are my two sources of income. Are you interested in anyone or talking to anyone at the moment? No, I am not. And to be honest, I feel like if I was, 
as much as I want a soft launch, like that sounds so fun. Oh my God, that sounds so fun. I think I'd keep it a secret. Like unless it was getting like way too serious and like there was just no way that you wouldn't know, then maybe I'd share it, but I don't know. So yeah, to answer your question, I'm not talking to anyone and I'm not interested in anyone right now. And let's keep it that way. How to get over an ex. <laughs> wow. Okay, so first of all, it's been a while. But I'm gonna say delete the text messages, all of them, everywhere on Instagram. You can delete a chat, right? Delete the chat on Instagram, delete the chat on iMessage, delete all the photos, go to your Google Photos or your iCloud, because I know you have that. Delete it there too. It also depends like what they did though, or like how you guys, not me assuming they did something to you. Girl, you can never do wrong in my eyes. It really depends on how you guys, you know, broke things off. Now, if it was like really bad, they cheated on you, they disrespected you, block block or else i'm gonna take your phone and do it for you i'm a huge advocate for blocking people because why not honestly even if they didn't do anything bad but you just are so hung up on them you have to be the bigger person for yourself <laughs> the bigger person for future you and block them even if you don't want it just like without even thinking just go block block them block block them and then click block other accounts too okay focus on yourself pick up a hobby that you maybe you know lost touch in while being in this relationship for me it was k-pop i got i got back into k-pop or pick up a new hobby mine was social media <laughs> spend time with friends or spend time with family spend time by yourself learn to appreciate you know being alone you may learn new things about yourself that you didn't know before now I'm gonna go in and set my concealer with the creme shop. I think this is the translucent moon. It's like moon something. I'll link it. Next question, are you fruity? Yes, I am fruity. I am pansexual and I have been out as pan for... Oh my god, how long has it been? For eight years? Hey, let's go. For those who may not know, I just don't have a preference for any gender. You look so clean and fresh and positive, just happy vibes. Do you get down sometimes? Girl, of course I do. I do really respect the people that are very emotional on social media and are open about their struggles. But there's also like for me, right? I prefer my platforms and just like what I share to always be good vibes. But of course, there's a lot of times where, you know, my optimism is challenged by myself i only try to share the good and happy parts of my life because it's like a, a little reminder for me later on that we'll be back we will bounce back is there anything that makes you insecure or do you even have insecurities yes i am flattered that you i think everyone has insecurities to an extent mine appearance wise i would probably say my smile when i'm like really happy like the smile you just can't control that one dude i've been applying powder to my face for like five minutes i don't know if i'd call it a gummy smile because like when i think of gummy smile i think of like yoongi or like jenny from blackpink mine is like on this side it kind of goes up a little bit more than this side and i can just tell i can just tell when i'm smiling really hard and you can see my gums so maybe i guess it is a gummy smile sometimes i just see myself in a photo and i'm like was it that funny <laughs> like, like why are we laughing so hard other insecurities sometimes i feel like i'm just annoying and that i like talk a lot or i would hate to come off as like a try hard because i do try and make people laugh people pleaser that's what it is. And I feel like just being a people pleaser itself, there's like underlying something there. Okay, next I'm just going to do my eyebrows because I naturally have none and that's okay. It's the e.l.f. brow gel stick. If your name wasn't Brie, what would your name be? I'm obsessed with you, by the way. I'm assuming you mean like what my mom would have named me. She told me Jasmine. Can you see me as a Jasmine? Jazz? Strawberry Jazz? Jazz? Jazzy? I feel like I don't look like a Jasmine. I'm assuming that's what you meant. Can I be your girlfriend? Name. I mean, we just met. How would your friends describe you? Ooh, quick interruption. I was gonna include this question earlier for how my friends would describe me. Kaya says, an enjoyable person to talk to and laugh with past 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Autumn says, very caring, hilarious, and <laughs> she says, very caring, Hilarious and beautiful. Women in STEM. Mm-hmm. And then CJ also says, very stylish, pretty, and always active in 526 group chat. Thank you. Now we can go back, okay? Done. 
Goku. Let's get into maybe the K-pop one. How did you discover K-pop and what about it really captured your attention? What made you get into K-pop? I've loved your content since you were 17. I'm 21 next year. That actually gave me full body chills. That's crazy. 17? Thank you for staying. Okay, so I actually discovered K-pop. Like, I mean, Gangnam Style does not count. The first time I fully took interest in K-pop was on Vine. It was a Vernon edit. I immediately was like, I need to know this man. I honestly didn't really get fully, fully into Seventeen right then and there. But that was the first time like K-pop really, like I needed to know him. And I looked him up on Tumblr, cause of course I was on Tumblr. There was another edit on Vine, but it was Taehyung. It was the, uh, oh my God, I cannot remember the song to this choreo, but where he has the glasses on and he kind of like whips his head and it falls off and then he's like a demon. That one got me. Alt groups and alt bias. Okay, so I have four alt groups at the moment. It is P1 Harmony, ATs, Zero Base One, and Psychers. Intak, number one, San, Ricky, and Min J from Psychers. Name your top five boy groups and girl groups. Okay. Well, obviously I just said my top four ults. Other than that, Rise. And then for girl groups, this one in no particular order. La Seraphim, Billy, New Jeans, Everglow, and Stacy. That sounds about right, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in with e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Cool Brown. Who are some of your favorite artists aside from K-pop? I immediately think of Bad Bunny, Rao Alejandro, Karol G, Wave to Earth, Dean, Rosalia. Girl, give me a second. Frank Ocean, Ceza, Olivia Rodrigo. I've been tapping back into my Troy Savon recently. And DPR, DPR. I knew I was forgetting one big one, DPR. And that means cream, Ian, live, or Dabi. I'm a dreamer through and through. I have not even started on my eyebrows, oh my God. Do you think you'll always like K-pop or will you grow out of it? The thing about K-pop is that maybe I won't be that into stan culture. I'm still forever gonna be a concert goer girly. Maybe I just won't be as invested, you know, with like their pose or just like what the idols are up to. Cause I probably just won't have time. At the end of the day, K-pop is just a genre. And I mean, I haven't fell out of it this far. I honestly think I'm here for the long run. It's gonna be like 80s's like 12th year anniversary. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, with my light teeny version five. <laughs> Are you ever embarrassed to be a K-pop stan? Never. I used to be when I was younger, but that was like before BTS started getting big here in, in America and just like worldwide. Girl, how did you find all these K-pop friends? I'm struggling. How do you make K-pop friends? Asking because strict parents. The thing is that you have to join the community online or like communities online. I most definitely did not have K-pop friends prior to me posting on TikTok. And I know posting videos and showing yourself publicly is not for everybody. That may be out of the question for some of you guys. A lot of people meet through Twitter. A lot of people meet through like Instagram. I would just have to say it's one of those things where you have to put yourself out there in one way or another through some sort of media. You know, that way you can meet people with mutual interests. Cause I definitely met all of my friends through TikTok. For strict parents, the thing is, is that you have to be open with them during the process, right? And then like I would show my parents photos of me and Anna, for example, like FaceTiming or me and Anna, just like to show that that's a real person, you know? Cause sometimes they get a little skeptical. Just kind of bring them with you along the process of getting close to these people. Because you know, to just randomly be like, I want to go to a different city with these people that you've never heard before, but like I've known for a year. They're gonna be like, Huh? That's how I went about it. Of course, it also varies with how your parents are, but you can, a girl can try. A girl can try. How did Intak become your bias? I love you, by the way. Love you. Dude, I'm just a sucker for the golden retriever idols. It's gonna get me every time. At first, I was Kiho bias. Honestly, I wouldn't even say I was Kiho bias. Kiho caught my attention. Mind you, this was debut. So I was just like, oh, that guy with the, with the Kool-Aid hair? something about him. Are you a Neo? Do you have a bias in TXT? They're my ults, lol. Although I wouldn't call myself an in-citizen now, I never really like fell out of touch with NCT or like with Seventeen or these other groups that I was like keeping up with. Cause I also have a lot of friends that are full-time MOAs. So I'm constantly like in the know, but I wouldn't call myself a Neo. 
but if Win-Win ever needs a girlfriend. My TXT bias is Subin. I never answered that question. Subin. My favorite album and my favorite song right now. I'm gonna have to give you a few albums. Hope World. First of all, let's get this straight. Mood Swings in This Order by DPR Ian. I am a DPR Live girl, but that album? Saturno by Rao Alejandro. I, look. <laughs> Every single song on that album, I don't have ass, but I'm shaking something. Love Yourself, Tear, that whole album. My favorite song at the moment, probably is Smoke. <laughs> or I'm Not Sorry by Dean. I've just been in that mood recently. Okay, now last question for the K-pop slash music category, which idol are you? See, I feel like I don't have a good perception of who I am, like how I am with other people. I don't know. Luckily, this has been something my friends have talked about in the past. I've gotten Kiho, but my friends have said Jung Hao from Zero Base One. To me, I don't see it with anyone because I just, I don't see what other people see. I'm gonna now go in with my Peri Pera eyeshadow. I need you to look at this for a second. This is my favorite eyeshadow. I'm gonna go and set in my eyelids with this little brown one right here. Since I talked about K-pop, let's get into media. What made you decide to start social media? Also, I love you so much and you're so pretty. I love you! Social media, I kind of touched on it briefly earlier, but girl, I was alone. I had probably one, two friends. So I started social media, like TikTok, second semester of senior year of high school. I, whoa, that comes off really dark on camera. And at the time, I was already on K-pop TikTok, but you know, like hiding behind a San profile picture, I'm pretty sure. I was following Rhea, I was following Yami. So I saw these people and I thought I want to be friends with them so bad. Dude, it's so crazy still to me because I would watch them and like now we're friends. How do I start my own channel? I love going to concerts and I want to vlog all my adventures. That is a good way to start. Concerts. My first video, my first YouTube video was a P1 concert because I feel like you can make that so entertaining and so fun. It could be, you know, not just you going to the concert, but like you hanging out with your friends before, you guys going to a cafe. Concerts are a perfect, perfect way to start. How to get out of your comfort zone. I want to start blocking at K-pop concerts or in general. It really helped me in the beginning to be with somebody, to be with friends. At the end of the day, people in public do not care. And if they do, it's for that one second and you guys will never cross paths again. Being with friends, I feel like heightens the energy and it's definitely way easier and calms my nerves when I'm with friends. I could do anything when I'm with my friends. I'm gonna go in to the same palette. I'm gonna be using this palette a lot, but this like darker brown with like shimmery glitters in there. And I'm just gonna look at this My Melody Creme Shop brush. Like an eyeliner moment. If my makeup looks rough right now, it's because I'm focusing on the questions. And I'll fix it later. Hi, Brie. You've always been my inspiration for starting a YouTube channel. What camera do you use? I just got my camera this year and I'm barely putting her to use, but I am using the Sony ZV-1F. I love using this camera. It is. It literally fits in my pocket. It fits in my purse, it fits in my pocket. She has not failed me so far. And when I'm in a concert venue or like, you know, the concert's happening, I have used my phone. And actually my first YouTube video that I used this camera for was my KCON vlog. So all videos prior to that, to my KCON vlogs were used with my iPhone 13 plus. What editing software do you use for your videos? Love you so much, love you. I use Velo, I think I'm pronouncing that correct. V-L-L-O. I'm gonna go in with this pink little shimmery shade right here. And just with my finger, cause I feel like the glitter when you apply it with a brush is not as pigmented. I usually do like the center, work my way towards the inner eye. Do you plan on becoming a full-time content creator or do you have a different dream job slash do you plan on doing YouTube long term? Content creation is just my hobby. I feel like if I, it, oh my gosh, if this like for some reason somehow turns into my career, by all means, because <laughs> it's, it's so fun. And I think what's important for me and what should be for a lot of people is that you love what you do. I'm calling it a hobby. So of course I love making YouTube videos and if I can do this long term, I definitely will. Where did you get your digicam? I got it on Mercari. I'll list it right here like T20, D something. But there are really good ones on OfferUp, eBay. With the same palette, I'm gonna grab this, just this flat brush I got from Morphe and dip it into the light brown and then the dark. And I'm going to define the egg yosad, but not that crazy, okay? And I just squint very lightly 
and I just followed the puffiness. And then with the same glitter I used, I'm gonna go in with the pink and then just a little bit of the, the beige shimmery shade. And then I'm just gonna line the bottom puffiness. Last media question. Your voice is so calming. Ooh. Do you have any plan to do broadcast? I'm assuming you mean like podcast. I just don't think I'm fit for podcast life. I switch topics every five seconds and I don't know what I talk about. As of right now, I do not have any plans to do a podcast. I genuinely don't know what I would talk about. Okay, I'm going back with the pink just a little bit and doing like dragging it to my inner corner because she needs to be highlighted, okay? Now we're gonna get into questions that are more about concerts and traveling in general. Who are the artists that are in your concert wish list? I need to see La Seraphim badly. I need to see EXO, oh my God. I need an EXO tour so freaking bad. I need, also need to see Bad Bunny. I haven't seen Bad Bunny live. I need to see New Jeans. I need to see La Seraphim. I need to see Billy. Are you planning to go to any more concerts this year? My next concert, and I think my final one for this year is Psychers. November 1st, baby, November 1st. Oh, someone asked me, are you going to the Psychers concert? Also, thank you. Got the feature in your cake of like, oh my gosh. Yes, I'm going to Psychers. I think I'm in like row six. So I will be peeing my pants. I'm kind of procrastinating with the eyeliner, but I should probably just get it over with. I used to have a makeup tutorial up on my YouTube, but it was horrendous and I do not do my makeup like that at all anymore. So I use this Suva, that's the brand. Suva, it's the 620 brush. Look at this beauty. I just go in with like a black eyeshadow. Unfortunately, the only black eyeshadow I have is in this huge Morphe palette. It's like that dark. That last one right there. And I do eyeshadow eyeliner first. But recently, I have been doing black eyeliner gently on top. So I'm just gonna do this really quick. What's the most you've spent on a concert? KCON for sure takes the cake. That counts as a concert, right? That was $600 worth of tickets. How do you have the money to go to so many concerts and festivals? Girl, when I tell you, if I'm not out on like a little trip, you know, that I plan to go see my friends or for concerts and I'm just here in San Diego, I do not leave my house. Like I'm just home all the time. And you will see that with my YouTube videos, I'm just home. I'm just home and if I'm not home, I'm working. I save a lot of money and then just splurge it all when the time comes. If you could travel anywhere outside of the country right now, where would you go? At this very moment, I wanna go to the Philippines. I wanna go to the Philippines so freaking bad. Who Like who wants to come with me? Which one of my friends is gonna do it? with me because i'll go by myself girl i'll learn mahal ko kayo <laughs> dude i know I'm, I'm i'm serious i'm serious i also really want to go obviously to japan i've been to japan before actually but i also want to go to korea countries you've been to you've been and want to go so i have been to italy i've been to france i've been to the united kingdom or england obviously mexico because i live in san diego and it's like in my backyard japan dude i'm having a hard time with this give me a second yes i have been to japan but when i went to japan it was only okinawa there's like three military bases there so i was very much giving Westernized. There were a lot of Americans around me. I was telling my nail tech I had only gone to Okinawa and she was like, okay, so what I'm hearing is you need to go back because you didn't get the full Japan experience. Cause I didn't go to Tokyo. I didn't go to Osaka or any other city, just solely Okinawa. So I definitely want to go to Japan again. So Japan, Korea, and the Philippines. The most beautiful country you ever visited, hands down Italy. In Italy, I went to France. <laughs> In Italy, I went to Florence, Rome, and Venice. Oh my god, Venice, I was there for one day. I need to go back. Do you ever plan on visiting Korea? Yes, I do. When are you coming to the Bay Area? Bay, I was just there. I was just there. I went to San Jose for, for the first time this year uh, with my friend for literally only a day. It was for a Dana Paola concert and I loved it. The nightlife surprised me so much. And I was in San Francisco this past July, but I will be back. I love San Francisco. Okay, we are back y'all. I moved closer to the window cause it got really dark in here and my camera died, but you don't know that. I'm gonna go in with this, the creme shop. It is a faux freckle uh, stamp. There's two sides. There's one that's like a little heart stamp, but I use the felt tip one to draw the little moles on the corner of my eyes. And I do it right beneath my eyeliner. 
But now I'm gonna go over my eyeshadow eyeliner with this liquid one. I honestly just use whatever liquid eyeliner I have at the moment. Right now I'm using the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black. It's pretty old though, so it's like I'm getting the last pieces. Now we're gonna get into style questions. What products do you use for your makeup? I mean, where do you shop for clothes and who is your biggest fashion inspo? For clothes, I don't know if I have a go-to shop. Recently, I discovered Kimchi Blue at Urban Outfitters, just like all the other gorillas, and I'm obsessed. I just have the worst luck finding things in store, so I am an online shopper to my core. To be honest, I haven't bought a lot of clothes recently. I don't know if there are like specific shops, but I have a fashion style dream closet Pinterest board, and when I'm just craving like buying some piece of clothing, I'll go on there and see if I can find like the store or like the Etsy shop of the person who made the clothing or where they got it from. And then I'll just buy it from there. Like I don't think I have a specific store that is like constantly doing it for me. My fashion inspo. Growing up, my huge, huge fashion inspo was Marcia, PewDiePie's wife. She's just so, oh my God, to this day, I love the way she dresses. Yeah, Marcia is the reason why I bought my Mary Jane Doc Martens. She just has such a unique style and I will forever look up to her and the way she, that she dresses. Oh, blush. I was like, why do I look like a vampire? For blush, I alternate between this uh, Chanel blush, the shade 71 Malice. It's like this corally kind of color, but I'm feeling a more hotter pink right now. The e.l.f. putty blush. Look at that shade. That's beautiful bora bora wow and then i like to place my blush above my cheeks i love your style how do you find clothes or find your aesthetic because i'm lost right now when i tell you pinterest is your best friend and also experimenting try different aesthetics out and see which one you feel yourself more in. And it's okay if you feel yourself in several aesthetics. That is a power move. How do you manage to stick to one aesthetic or like one color? I want that for me, but it's so hard. That's honestly just a me problem because I sometimes really want to wear other colors. I just only gravitate to pink, but I really want to branch out. I've been wearing more blue recently, but honestly, it's just truly been a preference. I would see myself in other colors and think this doesn't feel right. But I've definitely been sticking to the vibes going off my Pinterest boards, solely buying stuff that remind me of things that I have on there, like save. Definitely having a vision board of, you know, like what you want your closet to look like, really pushing it in there. So when you're shopping in person or online, you see the vision already. Going in with highlighter, this Fenty Beauty in the shade What a Brat 05. It is this cute pink highlighter. It's not very pink on your face, if that's what you're worried about. I just use a very, very little bit. I'm scared because this highlighter has a mind of its own. Ooh, next question. Ah! If you had to wear one item in every outfit, what would it be? P.S. Love you, love you. It would be, cause I wear it already with every outfit, my Vivian Westwood pearl necklace. If you had to pick a color other than pink, what would it be? Probably white. I feel like that's pretty easy. White, maybe blue. That's crazy. I, well, <laughs> dude, no way I just did that. Show your collections of bags and pink purse haul, please, okay. I have all my pink purses here with me. My go-to purse, and this is the purse I throw around. I don't care if she gets dirty because it was like $20. This little shoulder bag from PacSun. I think it's like Brandy actually, but I got it from PacSun. It was like $25. She's holding on though. I've been using her for like two years. And I have this fuzzy pink purse I got from Amazon. And then it also came with this chain if you wanted to make it like crossbody. I don't know if I'd say it's a shoulder bag because it's kind of short, but hey, you can make it work. Now we have two coach bags. This one, I wore it in the story, which probably got a bunch of you asking that question, but I'll put it in my description. So you can have it the way I was wearing it in the story, or you can also crossbody. Uh, I will warn you, there's not that much space in here. My other coach bag, the Demi bag, limited re-edition 
from 2003. She is so cute. This one's only a shoulder bag. And last but not least, I have my most expensive bag. It's from LV. I use the heck out of this one, dude. It is the Moon Crescent bag, but it has this on the inside that you connect. I'm too lazy to put it together, but you get the vision. It's giving airport fashion. So are you a gold girl or a silver girl? I am recently silver. Also, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. But I once said that I was never gonna go silver, but here I am. I love silver, dude. Show your current nails and what has been your fave nail set you've gotten. I honestly think these are my favorite nails, but that's how I feel about every new nail set. So I have these nails right now. They're shorter than I usually get them, but that's okay. And it is Japanese gel. I have a bunch of hearts and like random things going on here. Do you come up with designs for your nails or do you find them online? I actually find them all on either Instagram or Pinterest. I think my nail board on Pinterest is public. Now let's talk hair. When did you start dyeing your hair pink? And I love you so much, Bibi. Love you. Did you already have dyed hair in high school? And how was high school for you? So I didn't have dyed hair in high school. I actually started dyeing my hair 2021, like fall. So the year I started, doing social media a bit later on that year. And I've only done pink since then. How was high school for me? I actually really liked high school. I didn't like the school part, but I was an ASB in high school. I was an officer my last year, but I also was like at home because of COVID. I also did roller hockey, which girl don't, <laughs> I was not good at that, but I was good at track. I was a hurdler. That was pretty much it. I was an ASB all four years of high school. And that honestly was my, I think like the funnest part of high school for me. What made you want to dye your hair pink? And do you plan on doing a different hair color? I'll be honest, I do not plan on doing a different hair color. I feel like I would have an identity crisis. This is just me. In fact, I'm literally dyeing my hair tomorrow. I'm getting these roots fixed. So by the time you see this video tomorrow, I'll probably be in that salon chair. And I originally wanted to do split dye for my head, but I wanted platinum because I saw Ashley best dress her hair at the time. I thought I needed her hair. Had these pictures of like people with the kind of hair that I have now saved in Pinterest for like months. And I I was like, you know what, Brie, if you don't do that, you're probably gonna regret it. it Convince me to dye my hair pink, girl, so we can match. Duh, so we can twin because pink is the best color out there. Pink is the color of 2023 and 2024 and forever. Pink is just forever gonna be my favorite hair on anyone. Idols too. Okay guys, now we're down to the last rapid questions that I have. Top three Sanrio characters. My Melody, Wish Me, Mel, and Shirousa. They're all bunnies, yes. Do you put your milk before or after your cereal? I do before. Um, after, after, and that's the only correct way. I realized I didn't finish my makeup. I think the only thing left here is lip products. My go-to recently, Petty Pera water tint in the shade eight. So I just kind of put this on the inside of my lips. It's very pink. Do you have any K-drama recommendations? Oh my God. Actually, I should be asking you guys this because I recently just got back into watching K-dramas because my friend CJ was like, oh my God, you guys need to watch Moving. And I recommend Moving. I'm two episodes left and it is so good. Dude, it's so good. It's like a little bit of everything. Favorite pan dulce. I don't know if this is the official name, but like the elote one, where it has like the yellow sugar inside. So freaking good. The second uh, lip product that I like to use, the Kaja Love Swipe in 01 Call Me. I just do a little bit on the inner. Okay, next question. Brie, do you know? Do you know? Cause I don't know. Maybe he knows. I'm not a fabulous blender, but after this, Fenty Beauty Heat in Hot Cherry. Like, she is juicy, juicy, juicy. These are my three holy grail lip products. Oh my God, wait, am I missing any questions? What's your Roman Empire? Hey, yo, big bro, you fucking with that? My Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah. I do in fact have a tattoo of this on my back. So I think about the Roman Empire very often. That completes the Q&A slash makeup tutorial question mark. So grateful for everyone who sent me questions. I know I did not get to everyone's question. There was simply no way. I also cannot believe I broke this. So this is my finished look it's nothing too special i just throw it on every morning it's not a complete 
makeup look without glitter. Speaking of glitter, I'm not done yet. There is this chunky eye glitter I love to use. I got it on Amazon, but it is the brand Colorgram. And this is the shade Opal Flash. I just put it lightly under. Ooh, that was a lot. It's okay. Just a little shimmer. Thank you, friends, for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. I hope we did do our makeup together. And I hope you learned something interesting about me today that you didn't know before. And that we're like this now. Your turn. Your turn, by the way. <laughs> Take care. Stay hydrated. Buy a K-pop album this week. And send me your polls. I want to know who you get. Okay, I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.